Hi everyone, Station Master Joe here. It has been seven years since I last posted a new video on YouTube, so it's about time I started posting more. If you have been to any of my previous train fun days at High Street Methodist Church in Harpenden, you will have seen my portable layout of Great Waterton, which is a town on the island of Sodor, home of course to Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends. This layout is another one of my two model railway layouts. Yes, I have two model railway layouts, my Great Waterton layout and this layout. Although this layout is not portable, like my Great Waterton layout, it is modelled on other parts of the island of Sodor. Here we have Knapford Junction, where Thomas's branch line meets the main line. Up there in the top right-hand corner, we have Vickerstown Station. Well, part of Vickerstown Station. And on the top left-hand corner, we have the Vickerstown Diesel Works. I know the Vickerstown Diesel Works looks a lot different than that in Thomas and Friends, but this is the best representation I have of the Vickerstown Diesel Works. As you can see on this map of the island of Sodor, Knapford is on the western side of Sodor, when as Vickerstown is on the eastern side of Sodor, and there's several other stations between Knapford and Vickerstown. The reason I haven't got the stations between Knapford and Vickerstown on my layout is because my layout isn't big enough to fit them all on. Anyway, in this video I'm to do a running session and since this year marks 75 years since the first book of the railway series, The Free Railway Engines, was published, I am to have the free railway engines introduced in that book running on this layout. At Knapford Junction we have Edward with the red branch line coaches. Over by the water to column and calling stage we have Gordon and in the engine shed we have Henry. And yes, Edward, Gordon and Henry were the three railway engines introduced in the first book of the railway series 75 years ago. Thomas, on the other hand, was introduced in the second book of the railway series, Thomas the Tank Engine, which was published a year after the three railway engines was published. True fact. And yes, the next running session I do will have Thomas running on this layout.